So this video is going to quickly show how to install Unify Controller on a Raspberry Pi. So first we're going to grab the Raspberry Pi image and we're going to etch it or burn it or flash it to a uh, little SD card and then we're going to go and chuck that SD card into a Raspberry Pi. So now that it's booted we'll quickly get this like prompt of set it up um, you just click next and skip or whatever you want to do here. And then if you go up to the uh, Raspberry Pi in the top corner, go down to Preferences, then Raspberry Pi Preferences. And in the interfaces, if you turn on SSH, it means we can remotely access the Raspberry Pi. Great, so the Raspberry Pi is on. And now we're going to uh, remotely connect to it. So I've got SSH. Um, so I've got SSH running. So we'll remotely connect to this. Yes, we need to accept that. Password is Raspberry. Great, let's clear that. So, I've made a little script and we just need to uh, basically copy and paste it in. So, let's quickly go to the desktop and then um, we need to copy this in. It's best to copy it rather than uh, type in just in case there's a mistake. Great, we've got that. It's now on the desktop um, and now we need to change the permissions on it. So, there's an execute bit. So, we need to change that to make it executable and then we need to run it and there we go so this will now just run through the script and um, do various things so we can quickly have a look at what it's doing in the background so it's just doing an update grabbing a couple of dependencies adding um, ubiquity's package server and doing some more updates and then installing unify so it's pretty simple so we'll just let it run Great, so now that's finished, we can go and quickly have a look. Great, we're in. So now you can set it up like you would normally, and I have a video somewhere else on um, on how we would do that. So, awesome. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, um, please give it a like, or if you didn't, give it a dislike. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more things like this in the future. Thanks.